80s, the strong black woman narrative is a scam. Wake up. I had a good run. I did everything the society told me to do. I worked really hard. I damn near broke my back. I paid all my bills. I put everybody else first. I told men I was independent. I refused to accept gifts and help. I said I was strong. I did it and I did it to say that I won nothing from it. I literally did not win any special awards. My life has not changed drastically. So now I'm gonna reclaim my time, okay? When you see me now, know that I'm a soft bitch. Do you think men are important? Well, like for what? <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back. I'm just gonna just tell you, I'm tired of having to keep my cool all the time, and people still f you over. So I've been having car issues. Okay. <clears throat> One car after another. After this woman needed car work done. She took her car to the GMC dealer and had serious issues. It's not her that's supposed to be taking her car to the dealership. It's her husband. I truly cannot catch a fucking break. Look at this. If you... If you're a lot luckier than I am, let me explain to you that that is a critical engine fucking failure. For the second time in the two and a half years that I've had this piece of shit Kia Soul. This is a brand new engine, maybe 30,000 miles on it, with the exact same defect as the last one. Last time they, this happened, they had to import the engine, and it took damn near two months for me to get my fucking car back. It wasn't as big of a deal then, because... I had somewhere to live at the time. I do not know. I am in here. And, and if this happens again, if it takes them this long to replace the engine again, then that's it. That's it. I'm not, I can't work. So I'm not going to be able to keep up with my payments. I'm not going to be able to do anything. And I'm not going to be able to start over because losing this car is going to ruin my credit so fucking much that the only way that I'll be able to buy a car again is with cash, which is not an amount of money that I will ever be able to get because I can't work. I can't do this. I can't do this. Oh, my God. I just want to know what I did to deserve this life. Like, what God did I piss off? Seriously. Okay. I can't. I don't know who came up with the concept of strong, independent woman. I don't want that. I just want to make my own money. I don't want to take out my garbage. I don't want to pump my gas. I don't want to get my oil changed. The f who came up with that? Shit? Send me a man because I don't want to do none of that. Shit. I've reached this point in my life where the strong, independent woman phase is dying down, like slowly dying down. Like I'm tired. Me? And I've reached this point in my life where I have to really listen to myself. I have to listen to my body and my mental health is more important than trying to do it all on my own. And it's, it's so locked, y'all. Like trying to do this on your own is a lot, especially after. And I literally just don't have the time and the mental capacity anymore to continue trying to live about this image of being a strong, independent woman. I am not. I'm a damsel in distress. I need help. Save me.